Hello, this is Deborah Anderson, the Black Woman Animator, coming back to you with another video. And this video is tips for animation students. School is starting back, and there are a bunch of new animation students starting in the fall, and then there's a bunch of upperclassmen returning in the fall, and I wanted to do a tips video to help you all out. This video is going to be in two parts. Part one is going to be tips specific to animation students, and part two will be just some general tips that any college student can benefit from. Let's get started. One, I want to start with classes and projects. Go to class. <laughs> Number one suggestion. Um, there are going to be many reasons that you can come up with to justify why you don't want to go to class, but use these excuses sparingly because there are going to be times when you really need to not go to class because you're either sick or there's just some situation that takes a higher priority than class for some reason and you're going to wish that you didn't skip class just because you didn't feel like it before. One of my college classmates actually calculated how much it cost each time he skipped class and so that was motivation for him. That might be motivation for some other people but you are paying to go, you are paying for that class so when you skip that class you could be wasting anywhere from $100, $400 per class. So go to class. Next, don't schedule morning classes if you're not a morning person. It might be too late for incoming freshmen, but you have control over your schedule for the rest of college. So do what works best for you. When I was starting college, they didn't allow us to pick our initial schedule. So they had me in a couple morning classes and I had two Friday classes. Um, I was able to make it to the morning classes, I think, but it was just like, I don't want to be up this early. And then as far as the Friday classes, it was like my day went Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Monday. So by the time Friday class came, I didn't hadn't done the homework or anything because I'm like ah oh, it's Friday but then I'm like oh I have two classes so literally for the rest of college I never had a class before 10 a.m. and I never had a Friday class ever again and then some quarters I actually had only classes on Tuesday and Thursdays so do whatever works for you and your schedule next is don't do the bare minimum push yourself and go above and beyond college is the time to learn and grow and become awesome. When your professor is assigning a project, the stipulations around that project is the least you can do. You don't want to go wild and crazy because some professors don't like that. You definitely want to use the project to learn whatever the purpose is, but definitely push the boundaries and push yourself. Um, take control of your college experience. Use this time to develop your own style and use your projects as a means of just exploring what you are interested in. One of my college classmates used our animation classes to explore his interest in experimental animation. So while everybody was doing humans or animals or something like that, he was kind of doing crazy little things where um, it was, it added to the class, it was something different. So use college to explore what you are interested in and use your classes and projects to, to do that. Next, do what the assignment asked for. As someone who has assigned people tasks and been a leader, it is really annoying when you have assigned someone a task and they didn't do anything that was asked. So make sure that you understand what the project is about, what is the learning objective, and do that. Even when you're going above and beyond, you still need to uh, get to the learning objective. And this is a good skill to learn for when you get into the real world, when you're assigned tasks, you are able to follow directions uh, very well. And that's what makes you an asset as an employee. Next, go to office hours, especially if you're having trouble. If you are unsure or confused about an assignment, it is your responsibility to go to the professor and ask for clarity. I was mentoring one young lady and she was not getting the grades that she wanted on her assignments. So I suggested to her to go to the professor and ask what the problem was. And essentially, 
she just was not fulfilling the requirements of the assignments and then any critique that she was receiving she wasn't improving on her assignments from the critique so make sure that you're doing what's required and when you go to the office hours take in that information that the professor is giving you next tip is go to the lab i only went to the lab when it was part of the class but it is very beneficial just to be around other artists and you have someone who can help you when you're having trouble with an assignment if you're confused the labby can usually help you out or, or your peers can help you out and it's good to get that camaraderie another tip is to keep it simple or keep it short the reason i ended up changing my major is because my first animation was two and a half minutes unless you have time requirements keep your projects short and the fact that I was on the quarter system, which is three 10 week quarters instead of two however many week semesters. That's what made it worse. So I had to take the class three times because I didn't keep my animation to 30 seconds to a minute to make it more realistic. Next is try not to do your work last minute. Some of my best accidental work came from doing my projects last minute, but don't be like me. You're going to have to plan and set deadlines once you get into the workforce. So figure that out in college. Figure out how long it takes you to do something and how you need to do things. Don't do it last minute. Plan it out, schedule it out, figure all that out in college before you get a job. A very important tip is save your work. You don't want to be that student in the computer lab crying because you haven't saved in two hours and your program crashes. You can never save too many times. I suggest saving every couple minutes. For me personally, especially when I'm working in a program like Maya, I save before I do anything, like before I do any action. So say I have a, a, a project and I have to select like a thousand edges and I want to bevel it. I'll select all the edges and even as I go, I do some quick select uh, sets as I go because I have trust issues with Maya. And so even as I'm going, I'm saving those quick select uh, sets. And then once I finish it, I do one last one, save. And then if I need to bevel, I bevel. And then usually the first time beveling with that many edges doesn't work out well. So I'm doing my undoing and redoing and each time I'm doing this, I'm saving in between. And then once I got my bevel figured out uh, correctly, I save after the action so that everything is good. Another thing you wanna do is save iterations. So if your file gets corrupted, the file is maybe called My Final Project 52. You don't have to start all over because you put it all in one file. You just have to start with My Final project 51. So save iterations 01, 02, 03 instead of just keeping all of your project in one file because sometimes for whatever reason with technology files get corrupted and you don't want to have to start all over. Next, back up your files. I was not able to show my final project in my first 3D modeling class because the zip disk, CD, DVD, whatever we were using at that time did not copy the file and so I was not able to um, save it. Now people have Google Drive, the cloud. I suggest you put it on your thumb drive and then and upload it to Google Drive or the cloud and use that as a backup so that you can always have access to your file. Uh, please use the technology that is available today because I didn't have Google Drive when I was in college. So always back it up even if you want to put it on a cd i don't know if they got cd drives anymore but whatever you can use to back it up if you want to use two thumb drives back up your files lastly put a antivirus software on your laptop this just can save you from a lot of turmoil um you can either google it or go to your tech people on campus and they can tell you what to put on your laptop but you always want to protect your computer so that you can use it throughout the entire time in college that's it for the tips on classes and projects now moving on do an internship 
it was really hard for me to do an internship just because internships are usually associated with being free and I didn't feel comfortable asking my parents to foot the bill or me staying somewhere, especially if it wasn't at home. And I, I'm not sure if they didn't, if they had the money, but I never asked. And so I did have the option to do an internship in Wilmington, North Carolina, but I kind of was like, oh, I, there was a lady who, I, who contacted me for an internship in Michigan. I turned down the one in North Carolina and then the lady never responded to me for the internship in Michigan. So if you live in a place, are you from a place that has some type of animation studios or um, companies that do animation, try to do an internship maybe after sophomore year. And if, if your family has a means to send you to California or if you can get in a program that pays for all that, try to do an internship because you can put that on your resume and that counts as experience. And even if you're just buying people um, or getting people coffee and sandwiches, you're still in the building and you're, you're now able to see how an animation studio runs or how a company runs. And that is added um, experience that you can take into a job once you graduate. The last chunk of advice I'll suggest for this video is build relationships. As an introvert and someone who felt out of place in my program just because I didn't have the same interests and quirkiness as my peers, I dropped the ball on this piece, at least in my major. I did have relationships outside my major, but that didn't help when it came to getting a job after college. Generally, the purpose of building relationships is so that there are people that like you, you have worked with them, and they know your work ethic. This is also people who will advocate you, for you or they just like your art and so they'll um, suggest you for a project or a job in the future, whether that's an internship during um, college or as a group project, a side project, or after college when you graduate and you need to move somewhere and get a job. Building relationships is really important. One way to build relationships is to make friends or join a club. When I was an orientation assistant, something they told us is that if freshmen don't make friends or make connections in that first two to three months of college, they're probably going to leave school. If you haven't made any friends in the first couple months, try joining a club that is uh, around your interest and see if that will help you make friends because uh, friends usually become friends because they have the same interests. So if you don't have your crew that you may, met maybe during orientation or in class, try to join a club or an organization and make friends that way. At my school, our dean would have get togethers at his house every so often. And I think I only went once. Um, there were some things that kind of made me uncomfortable uh, at the get-togethers, but if you have a dean, program director, prof professor that has get-togethers for your um, major or even if it's at the school, try to go to them. You can even uh, do just the first 15-20 minutes, make your rounds, as long as people are seeing your face. Um, and if you're if it if it's fun, then you could stay for longer. Or if you like going to that type of stuff, you could stay for longer. But try to go to the get-togethers that are scheduled in your program, your major, your um your depending on how your college is set up, your whole school. Uh, go to those things to make connections. Another way to build relationships is to volunteer for student projects. I don't know how it works at other schools, but at RIT, all the film and animation majors are in the same class as freshman year, and then sophomore year, we split off into our own things, animation and film. Um, I think it would have been very beneficial for me to work on some of the film students' uh, projects and shoots. It just would have taught me a lot, helped me build relationships. Um, I know I bought these lights uh, so that I can film. I don't have to be beholden to the sun being out to shoot my videos, but I have no earthly clue how to put these soft boxes on because it didn't come with instructions. So that would have been a benefit to going on to different shoots to help people. But at the end of the day, it's about building relationships 
whether it's to help you during college, because you definitely need a support system, but also for um, networking for after college, and you can have some people to be there in your corner and tell you about different jobs. A little extra piece about building relationships, hang around the talented people and learn from them. There might be that superstar or a couple superstars at your um, university, or maybe everyone's a superstar. Hang around the people that are better than you, learn from them, ask them questions, become their friend, all of that. Because you can get inspiration from these talented people, you can learn from these talented people, and you can become friends with these talented people. And this, all of this building relationship is what networking is. You're either building relationships so that you can benefit, or you're building relationships so that you can help people out. If you land a job at a company, you can help someone else out. So remember that piece as well. You're either trying to benefit from it for your career, or you're trying to help someone else out. And that's it for this video. I hope you were able to learn something from the tips that I provided. If you've been in an animation program and have any tips, please share them. Like so I know it's real. Comment and tell me how you feel. Subscribe to seal the deal and sign up for post notifications to show your zeal. I will see you in the next video.